So how do you find and highlight duplicates in Google Sheets? So now you can just delete duplicates if you select a tab, for example, up here in the upper left hand corner between A and 1. And then you can just go to data, data cleanup and remove duplicates. And it gives you options, for example, determining if there's a header row and what columns you want to use to determine what are duplicates. The problem with this method is it doesn't allow you to do any manual review. And so if you select all the columns, it's probably pretty reliable to just remove duplicates that you don't want. But if you want further review, then we want to be able to find and highlight duplicates in Google Sheets. So the way we're going to do that is using conditional formatting. And so in this data set, we're going to use a couple different methods. And so the first method we're going to use is highlighting any duplicates in the order number column. And so we can go ahead and select this column and then under format, we're going to select conditional formatting. And then in this range, we're going to change this rules to custom formula. And then what we're going to use is a simple count ifs formula to determine if we have more than one of the same. And so if you're not familiar with conditional formatting, that's OK. We're going to walk you through what you need. And so just do equals count ifs. And then left parentheses. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the column. We want to look in the whole column. And so we're going to use dollar signs. And it's just best practice to use dollar signs in here. And you'll see the importance of this as we go to highlighting the entire row. But for the moment, we're just going to stick with these and then we're going to start with one. So we could drop this down to here, but you need to make sure the supply to range and the count is formula start at the same. So we can either do one here and one here, or we can change this to two and this to two as well, and then do a colon and then we'll finish our reference with a dollar sign B. So now we've selected our entire column and then we're going to do comma and we want to compare it to B. And then what we're going to do is we're not going to add a dollar sign and then we're going to put two. And so the reason why we're doing this is in this count test, we're using these dollar signs because we want to look in the whole column. But then within that column, I want to look at, for example, order 1000. Is there another order 1000 within that range? And then I want to go to 1001 and so forth. And so when I don't add this dollar sign here, what this conditional format is going to do is it's going to go. First of all, it's going to check this is B2 appear anywhere else. And then because I don't have a dollar sign, then it's going to do B3. And it's going to do B4, then it's going to do B5, and so forth. And so that's why we don't add a dollar sign there, because it allows it to iterate. Now, at this point, we need to determine what our condition is. I want to see if there's more than one. So I'm going to use this greater than and one. And now you can immediately see very quickly and visually that there are some duplicate order numbers. So at this point, I can change the highlighting if I want, maybe make it red or something like that. And there we go. Now we can see those highlighted order numbers. So what you can do if you have a big data set, especially is you can also add a filter. And so let's go ahead and close that out for now. Let's select this. And then right now, because I have this zoom set big, this filter right here. Icon, if you see that you can click that. Otherwise, if you don't see it there, and you're getting confused and trying to find it there. You can also do data and create a filter. Now, the reason we do this is so that we can click on this filter icon and then we're going to filter by color and select that color that we did in the conditional formatting. And now we can quickly and easily see those duplicates and determine what's happening if we needed to update the order number, for example, or if it's actually a duplicate line. So here we can see that looks like a duplicate order data. And so we probably delete one of those out of there. But this allows you to manually view and determine what needs to happen with that data. Now let's go ahead and reset that filter. Now what if we want to actually compare more than just one column? So for example, in this case, these order numbers are the same, but the rest of the data is different. So in this case, maybe the order number should have been 1004. And so it kind of messes this up because then it continued. And so maybe we'd have to reset this to the most recent order number, something like that. Or we might have a spot like this where it actually is a duplicate. So the way to differentiate between those two 
is let's go back to format, initial formatting, and let's select this and change our rule. So now let's instead of just applying this to column B, let's do A through F. And so the reason for this, and you can see it's actually working already with this rule, but we also want to change our rule here. So we want to highlight more than just when the order number is the same. So the way we're going to do that is determine what else we want to use. And so let's say in this case, let's use the name it would probably be a good one. And so again, make sure to use these dollar signs. Just like that. And then C2. And so what we've done now is we're saying where B2 finds a match in that column and C finds a match in that column. And so you can see now that we only have one duplicate and it's this one that has multiple. But let's just look at what happens. Let's go ahead and do this and take the sales rep is different. That one does not matter. And so if we want to add that sales rep in there, we'd have to do this and do D and D2. So now if we close this out, now if we take this sales rep and change that, now it doesn't show it. We reset it back to Daniel. Now it does. And so you can just modify this to however you need to, whatever columns you need to pick in order to make sure you're highlighting the duplicates that you want to see. Then whenever you've highlighted whatever those are, then you can go back here again. In this point, it's not just an order number. You can still see that here. But at that point, you can select any of these columns, filter by color, and see just those. All right, so that is it for today's video on how to find and highlight duplicates in Google Sheets. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.